Hey Pandus, Peter Von Panda here. Hey, I want to show you some backup iron sights I bought. Uh, these are from Pro Supplies. They're black tactical flat top for ARs. Uh, work with any Picatinny rail. They come in this little uh, plastic bag set up. It does come with a couple of Allen keys to make adjustments and um, mount them to your Picatinny rail. I want to show you these because um, I have a couple of points I want to make. I want to give you a little tour of them because they're really interesting. And I'm actually fairly pleased with the construction. But then there's one major flaw to them, which is why they are not going to make it onto any of my guns. And uh, I want to show that to you. But first of all, they're polymer. And I'm pretty impressed with the construction. Like I said, they're light because they're polymer. But they have a fairly good dense feel to them. They're a little different than the Magpuls. And the price point is much, much lower. I guess you get what you pay for. But you would mount them here on the pick rail with uh, the Allen key there. And then to flip it up, and they are spring-loaded, you pull this textured uh, plate forward and they just flip up on both of these. It's pretty nice once they're mounted should be no problem to pull that Whoops, sorry I didn't uh, Pull that right off camera you pull it forward like that they flip up They're nice and sturdy and they have a little stop here So they kind of go right to vertical which is which is pretty cool um, the so, and they're black. I couldn't find them in FDE or anything like that, but there you might find this a similar thing um, in, a, in a color. But, you know, for about a quarter of the price of Magpuls, we're off to a pretty good start. And then to retract them, you just pull them back. You can see how that front piece is kind of pushed out of the way and then locks it into place. And they seem to lay pretty flat there. Okay, now on to my big problem with it and you know i don't know these weren't listed as airsoft or anything but who knows maybe they are but the issue with it is that when they are both deployed up and you're going to use them as sights you can see here the bottom of the the backup site where it would sit flush with the picatinny rail and let's just look at both of them where they'd both be flat you can see this maybe you can't see it too clearly here but you can see this front post is lower than the rear aperture and you might say well crank it up Pete. well i have i have turned this thing all the way and it will not go any further it must be tapered on the bottom because of the front post this post will not go up any further in fact i kind of jammed it uh, in this one direction. I can move it back the other way and move it lower, but that's just going to exacerbate the problem. And in fact, um, this was probably much closer to here when I originally got it because presumably they want you to adjust it up or down. Now I've moved it kind of back closer to that original position. You can see now it's even much further down. So we'll go ahead and line them up here and way below that aperture. Uh, especially with the people one it becomes even more apparent there i mean we're looking you know these would be further apart on your rifle but right up here i mean you're talking about a big big drop i mean <laughs> um i get that you you're ultimately going to kind of want this a little lower than the peep sight because you're going to want those two your your line of sight and the the bullet uh to converge and then the bullet's going to drop a little even beyond that so I kind of get that you're going to want to adjust this down maybe but um, I cannot even rotating this uh, post all the way to the top get it anywhere near the bottom of this aperture I mean at at the very at, at best it sits you know a whole half a, a circle low so that that's that's kind of the fundamental flaw here uh, you know I, I there's doesn't seem to be enough uh, travel in the post for me to even put it on to take it to the range to try to play around with it. Um, the other thing that I've kind of found as a fatal flaw is uh, this thing does turn and click, which is kind of nice to move uh, your your opening um, left or right. But it's it gets pretty tight, and what I've noticed is that rotating it this way, it gets stuck, and that's the last click I can make. So. I can't get the aperture any further to the right here. No matter what I do on either one of these, I cannot, there we go, I kind of forced it. I cannot get it to twist any further that way. I can get it to go back the other way, uh, generally. 
I kind of have twisted it into a spot or something because now I can't get it either direction. So, um, <laughs> maybe too, too tight a construction or something, but I cannot get this thing to move left or right. Um, you know, I'm not, I'm, I'm impressed with it snaps into place and seems to hold that position. But again, like a lot of sites, you can't leave it with the small peephole there unless this tab falls right into one of your T-slots, okay? And most of the time you're going to want this one unless it's low light or something and you put that up. So kind of frustrating. Um, like I said, maybe only 20, 30 bucks for this pair, uh, but, you know, can't even use them now. So I don't know. Uh, in some sites you can replace this post and maybe that's possible, but at this price point it's just not worth it. Otherwise, I was pretty excited about it. I thought when I opened it up they they looked uh, pretty promising, but that was the uh, the problem with these. So I'll put a link to them if you think maybe the pair you get, uh, it's just a manufacturing issue and you want to give it a shot. Uh, otherwise, if you have a similar problem, I'd love to hear about it. Put it in the comments below and let's take a poll. Peter Von Panda for these polymer backup iron sights. Out.